Hi everyone. So we are looking at uh, in chapter three, Mishnah five, dealing with issues of uh, of cooking, primary and secondary vessels, klirish and klisheni, um, uh, having to do with Shabbat. So let's take a look at uh, Mishnah Hay here. Okay, Hamecham shepinahu lo yiten letochot sonen bishvil sheyechamu, aval noten noten hu letocho o letocha kos kide lahavshiran. So a kettle that was removed from the fire. So we have the uh, the thing when it's al ha'esh, when it's on the fire. And then when we remove something from the fire, when it's still in that vessel in which it was cooked, even though it's off the fire, it's still considered the primary vessel, kli rishon. So this is the case. You've taken a kettle off the fire, presumably right before Shabbat. Um, and now you have this really, really hot um, kettle still in the thing in which it was cooked. Um, so one may not add cold water to that in order to heat it up, because then you would be cooking the cold water uh, by making it very hot from the hot water, and which we're not allowed to do. Um, but you may add to it uh, uh, a lot more water that would just temper, you would just end up with lukewarm water. Um, or you may add it um, into a, a cup um, and then add cold water into that. So if you have a cup, then it's a, a klisheni, a secondary vessel. The Gemara says that uh, klisheni anal mevashel, that we're not concerned about the secondary vessel cooking. Um, and therefore, uh, if you had this uh, water, that, then you could add cold water to it um, if it's already been taken out of the primary vessel. Okay, going on. Ha'il pas v'hakadera she'eviran merutachin. So uh, a sealed pot or, a, or just a regular pot, um, which was removed from the fire while boiling. Lo yiten l'tochan t'valin, aval noten hu l'toch ha'keira o l'toch ha'tamchui. Okay, so, so this, uh, this pot that it's uh, removed from the fire, it's still boiling hot. You cannot add spices to it, but he may add, uh, you may add spices into a bowl or into a terrine. So you, uh, while it's still boiling hot, consider it a clear uh, you should not put something directly in. Those things might come to, to cook, the spices that you put in. However, um, it's letting us know that you could, if you then put it into a bowl, again, a klisheni, or you put it into a tureen, which is also just a, a, another pot that you're then going to serve from to other bowls, so also considered a, a klisheni. It's not the vessel in which the cooking happened. It's a secondary vessel that it was moved to afterwards. Um, you wouldn't be able to do that, but you wouldn't be able to do it uh, from the, the, into the primary vessel at spices, but you can add it into either type of this, these secondary vessels. Okay, and then going on, Rabbi Yehuda Omer, lekol hu noten, chutz midavar she yesh bo chometz v'tzir. Okay, so Rabbi Yehuda says you can add spices to anything, uh, meaning in, in, in our cases, except something containing vinegar or brine. So what does Rabbi Yehuda think, which is not the opinion we, we hold like, this is not the, the halacha is not in accordance um, with Rabbi Yehuda on this matter, but Rabbi Yehuda is saying that only on the fire itself can, can spices be cooked, if you add spices into a primary vessel, even uh, off the fire, even if it still is the primary vessel, not going to cook, um, ex unless there was something kind of sharp, spicy, uh, some uh, vinegar or brine, something that would aid in that cooking, and then you would have a problem with the spices. But otherwise, he thinks only pot on the fire can possibly um, cook spices, and that's not the opinion, again, that we hold like. We don't add things into a primary vessel. Uh, we wait for things to be in their uh, secondary vessel in order to add something to it, like spices. Um, okay, great. So I think we're going to stop there because the next one is on a very different matter. Um, so we'll continue next week. Um, hope everyone is well and, uh, have a great week and good Shabbos and happy Hanukkah. Okay, bye.